Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 30 tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life of your iPhone running on iOS 15. Now iOS 15 is here and of course it packs a ton of new features, but alongside with that you can also do a lot of things that will help you get way better battery life on your iPhone and this especially on all their devices. Now before we get into the tips and tricks, make sure you smash the like button of this video. I would really appreciate it as it really helps this channel a lot. All right, first and foremost, the main thing you should do on any of your devices, on any iOS version, make sure that you always have optimized battery charging turned on. So you go to settings, battery, battery health, and use optimized battery charging. In the long run, you will have way better battery health and way better battery life. So always make sure that you have optimized battery charging turned on on your device. As I said, iOS 15 has just recently been released and in the near future we will get quite a lot of updates from Apple. So what I suggest you do is always make sure that you have your device updated, that way all the fixes that need to come to your iPhone will come with those updates. And that of course includes battery life. So always make sure you go to general, go to software update, go to automatic updates and make sure you have both of these turned on so you will always get the updates automatically downloaded and installed on your device device without having to bother to checking for updates and installing them manually. Now of course a lot of people have installed the beta of iOS 15 and now we will get new betas iOS 15.1 and 15.2 and so on in the near future we will get those betas so if you want to have better battery life on your device make sure you don't install betas. Now I know a lot of people like to try new iOS softwares. For example, when iOS 15 came out, a lot of people would want to try it out. But now when we get these point updates, there's actually no point to updating to them because you will get probably way worse battery life on your device. So you want to have better battery life. Make sure you don't install betas. As you probably know, with iOS 15, Apple has introduced a new feature called live text. Now that feature will also work on the camera app. So once it detects a piece of text in front of it, it will automatically activate letting you copy that text directly from the camera. But you know anything that has to automatically work in the background that will require CPU power, that way it requires battery life as well. So if you don't want that feature on the camera app and you want to actually preserve battery life, you can go to your settings and go under the camera settings and here we'll find an in an enable button where you can enable or disable this feature and from here you can turn off live text for the camera of your device. With iOS 14, Apple has introduced home screen widgets for the iPhone. Now they're cool and all that and in iOS 15 we have some new ones but actually nothing major here, nothing has been updated like adding new features and all that stuff to the widgets on iOS 15. But they require battery life, a lot of those even use locations and stuff like that. So what I suggest you do, use as less widgets as possible on the home screen of your device. I see people keep a ton of widgets enabled. They need to be updated. A lot of them, maybe like news or stocks and stuff like that, they need to be updated all the time. They will require CPU power and battery life as well. So make sure you disable the widgets that you don't actually need and don't use from the home screen of your iPhone. There are also a lot of apps that actually drain battery out of your iPhone and the easiest way to find those is by going to the battery section on the settings app. Now what you will find here is a list of apps that have been using the battery of your iPhone. Now right here you can see my list, I have Instagram, Facebook, YouTube at the top. Now of course they use most of the battery on my iPhone but that's not bad because I use those apps a lot. But if you see here an app that you don't actually use that much but it's just draining the battery of your device in a short period of time make sure that you delete that app and you replace it with another option from the app store. Now when we're talking apps the app switcher needs to be always filled with apps. Don't close apps out of the app switcher. Now what that will do is that it requires your iPhone to reload the app. If you leave the apps here, you go back and they're ready to go. If you close them, your iPhone will need to actually reload the app from the beginning. That way it will require more RAM memory, more CPU power, and of course more battery. Now one thing a lot of people don't know is that if you use the dark mode on iPhones with OLED displays, 
you will save a ton of battery. Now you can see right here, I have dark mode enabled and every pixel right here where it's black is actually turned off. So the display is turned off on these parts right here. That will save a ton of battery. So make sure you use dark mode as much as possible. Now, of course, you can enable it by going to display of brightness. You can have it on automatic right here or you can have it on a schedule as any schedule that you choose right here your iphone will switch automatically between the dark mode and of course the light mode right here on the display and brightness you will also find rise to wake now rise to wake will wake up the screen of your iphone automatically whenever you pick it up from a table or from your pocket that's pretty cool but of course that requires a lot of battery as it's always working in the background so make sure you have that turned off now the same goes with back tap. So like any feature that's actually always ready to be used like back tap, you double tap or triple tap on the back of your iPhone to invoke an action that will require quite a lot of battery. So make sure you have that disabled of course if you don't use it. So you go under accessibility and right here under touch you will find back tap if you don't actually need it just make sure you go ahead and choose none right here and you will have it disabled. The same goes for voice control as well. Now voice control is a feature that was introduced on iOS 13, basically lets you command your iPhone using your voice. It's pretty cool and sometimes for a lot of people will be probably very useful, but if you don't actually use it, make sure you have it turned off because this will also require CPU power and battery life as well. So make sure you go under accessibility, voice control and have it turned off from here. Another huge battery drainer is sound recognition. That requires quite a lot of battery. So go to settings, go under accessibility, and right here we'll find sound recognition. If you don't actually need this feature, if you just have turned it off, just maybe to turn it on, maybe just to try it or something like that, make sure that you have it turned off because this will work in the background all the time and will require quite a lot of battery life. Moving on to the privacy section and of course we have here location services. Now you can see this is how I keep my location services. They're always turned off just in case I need them for maybe navigation stuff like that. I will enable it. Other times I just keep it off. So what you should do right here of course if you don't want to keep it off make sure that you check the list of apps right here that use your location and make sure you choose to which apps you're granting the, the ability to have your location because if you just grant it to all the apps all the apps will all the time be tracking your location and that will just drain out the battery of your iPhone. And scrolling down here we'll see system services so here are all not the apps but the services that will use your location you will have here stuff like compass calibration or maybe location based alerts and suggestions you don't actually need those so make sure you keep those turned off now what you should do here is always make sure that you have find my phone and emergency calls and sos enabled those are very very important and of course share my location if you use it so those are very important so make sure you keep them turned on all the time right here under system services you will also find significant locations now what this will do is we'll track the locations that you visit the most so let's just go ahead and log in there now if you go here you will have this enabled this will show you here a list of all the frequent locations you go to. That of course will also require battery life and CPU power. That way, if you don't really need this feature, I don't know why this feature might be useful to someone, but if you don't need it and you don't wanna have your records right here, you can go ahead, turn it off, and of course also clear the history right here. Moving on right here to the Bluetooth section on the privacy tab on the settings app. Now under Bluetooth here, you will find apps that actually use the Bluetooth of your device. Now here are all the apps to which I have granted access to my Bluetooth and this will basically let these apps use the Bluetooth and Bluetooth requires quite a lot of battery. So if you see here apps that you don't actually need to have access to your Bluetooth, make sure you go ahead and turn these off. Now of course a lot of the times when you install a new app, we're just granting like access to different stuff we, because we just want to go through the setup real quick and you might have apps here that actually don't want to have access to your Bluetooth so make sure you go ahead and turn them off. Now when talking about Bluetooth 
Also, from the settings, when you go to the Bluetooth section, you can turn it off completely right here. So basically, if you don't do that, it will require quite a lot of battery life because Bluetooth is always scanning for devices nearby and of course that requires battery life. If you do this from the control center, you know that it will turn on again because that's just like disabled, it's not turned off, so you can go ahead and turn it off completely from here. Next up, we're moving to the mail settings. So go to settings, mail, and go to accounts right here, and you will have fetch new data. Now, what you should do right here is of course, choose how you want to receive the new emails, new notifications from the mail app. Now, this will be really important. Make sure you choose manually or maybe even hourly. If you do it on automatic, that will require way more battery. Now you can have these of course enabled different for like different devices, different actually accounts, but if you wanna do it, make sure you do it on manual or maybe set like hourly or maybe every, every 30 minutes. So that way you will preserve quite a lot of battery life. And of course, one of the biggest battery drainers of your iPhone will always be notifications. That's why you need to actually manage your notifications in a really smart way. Now with iOS 15, this will be much, much better because now you will have scheduled summaries. So you have here apps that of course will send you notifications, but those are not really important to you. So you can have them once or twice a day and you don't need your iPhone to just give you notifications all the time. That's really good. So you go ahead and enter your summaries right here and choose at which time you wanna receive them and you're good to go. And of course, lower here will have the list of your apps. You can go ahead and configure notifications for any of those apps. Like there are apps that you actually don't need to have any notifications from. Like here I have books. Why would I want to have notifications from books? Go ahead and disable it completely. I go under books, of course, on the app and read anything I want. I don't need notifications from this app. Now with iOS 15, Apple has also introduced new notifications from the weather app. Now going here, you will see by tapping on the three dots right there that we actually have a new option here for notifications. So if we go to notifications, these are notifications that are exclusive to the weather app. It will alert you for rain and stuff like that, of course, for your location and any of the cities that you have on the list. Now, this is very good. I've used this feature when I installed iOS 15 beta. It's great and it works as it should. But I suggest you keep your location on. Of course, if you want to be informed regarding the weather and whether there's a storm or a, or a rain coming or stuff like that. But for the other locations that you maybe don't need to have those enabled, make sure that you turn them off. Next up, we're moving to accessibility and lower here under Siri, we have an enable button right here for a feature that will require quite a lot of battery. It's called always listen for hey, you know the rest, so make sure you have this disabled because this will require quite a lot of battery and of course you wanna have it disabled on any iPhone. I don't think you need this enabled. This will require a lot of battery because Siri will all the time be listening to you. Whether your iPhone is face down on a table or maybe in your pocket, it will always be listening for the word. And moving on again into privacy, we have here motion and fitness. Going here, you will have all the apps that are tracking your movements, basically your motion and your fitness. I will have here apps like health. You might even have other apps, fitness apps and stuff like that that you have installed. Now, of course, if you install a fitness app or something like that, that you need to track your movement and fitness, you enable them. But if you see here apps that you don't actually need to do that, make sure you disable those because that will require also quite a lot of battery. And the personal hotspot. Make sure that you disable this most if not all of the time. If you don't need someone or you don't need it yourself to use the hotspot, make sure you keep this disabled. This will require also a lot of battery life. So just go ahead, go to seller and turn off right here at allow others to join. A big battery drainer is of course background app refresh. So you go to general, go under background app refresh. You will have here a long list of apps that all are basically enabled to be refreshed in the background. There are stuff like books, for example, or right here I have 
like absolute i don't actually need to be in able to do that right here amazon i don't need it to be refreshing in the background so make sure you go ahead and turn these off this will save a lot of battery moving on to sounds and haptics and here we'll find vibration so we have vibrate on ring and vibrate on silent maybe you can keep vibrate on silent on but there is no actual reason to keep vibrate on ring on vibration will just drain the battery out of your iphone so make sure you keep these off at least keep the first one vibrate on ring off all the time now if you have one of the older devices this is something you should do go to under accessibility and go to motion and make sure you enable reduce motion now reduce motion will actually remove some of the animations and effects of ios so that way it will save a lot of cpu power and that way of course battery life as well now this can be in a basically leave disabled if you have one of the newer devices but if you have an iphone maybe 7 or a 6s or an se make sure that you enable this feature and of course, don't forget to always have auto brightness turned on. Always keep it on. This will save a lot of battery. It will adjust the screen's brightness based on your ambient. That will, of course, be way better for your eyes and way better for the battery of your iPhone. So to do that, you can use Siri or go under accessibility, go to display and brightness and right here, make sure you have it turned on. Another thing you should do is always make sure that you use the Wi-Fi as much as possible. That will save a ton of battery. Using cellular data instead of Wi-Fi, I know nowadays most people have unlimited plans and maybe have even faster cellular data than Wi-Fi, but make sure you use Wi-Fi as much as possible because it requires way less battery life. And when you're in places where there is bad coverage, make sure to turn on the airplane mode. That will save a lot of battery. If you're on a place where like the cellular coverage is really bad, your iPhone will just drain the battery because it's trying to connect all the time and that will require quite a lot of battery life. And last but not least, use low power mode as much as possible. When you don't need to do like something that really needs the performance of your iPhone, make sure you use low power mode. You can turn it on, of course, from the control center right here, or you can have a shortcut which is you can turn it into a widget of course and have it on the home screen of your device and quickly turn on low power mode now what you can also do is maybe create an automation that will do that for you so go to personal automation and then go ahead and choose right here battery level and you can choose any battery level you want and then just go to next and tap on add action and basically search here for low power mode and here we have set low power mode it's on right there make sure you disable this don't ask and then just click done and then every time your iphone's battery gets down to that certain percentage low power mode will be automatically invoked so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are 30 tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life of your iphone running on ios 15. i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more if you did and i will see you guys on the next one